Hello and welcome back to my vlog. I'm just winging it today. <clears throat> it's been a strange day. Inertia set in and it wasn't the good inertia. The inertia where I was moving and kept moving. It was the inertia where I was not moving and kept not moving. I did get some things accomplished. Uh, so, uh, and I should have I really should have done my blog earlier. It was in the 60s today in Columbus, Ohio on December 3rd, and I could have been outside, although it was raining, but there's the porch with a roof over it. <clears throat> but I was kind of locking myself into procrastinating due to inertia. So then I was looking for something to do for my blog, um, and I'm behind on my blog. None of that really matters to you if anybody's watching. Um, and found a couple things that I was going to read, and then I thought, I'll just talk a little bit about a confluence of things that, um, that, I, that kind of tie together for me, and it may mean nothing to you. I've been working on, uh, Wayne Dyer, Wayne Dyer's book about the, uh, Tao, and trying to get the idea of living in the Tao, which, um, if you understand it, that's just living in spirit, I guess. Uh, ra and um, there was uh, another video that I ran across this past summer called The Language of the Divine Matrix. I might put a link to that uh, in my blog somewhere, um, or just in comments. Uh, it's well worth uh, watching. These things kind of tied together the idea that I've heard Christians talk about. That's called, that I've heard people say, pray without ceasing. And I always wondered what that would mean. How could you possibly pray without ceasing? Do you say the Lord's Prayer over and over all day long or something? I don't know. So uh, the language of the Divine Matrix, um, it talks, um, he talks about the actual feeling that you have. He says the feeling is the prayer. The feeling of love, compassion, um, Someone in there um, talks about, I think it was a Buddhist monk that he uh, goes to visit, talks about compassion. Well, I was introduced uh, this week to the idea, a Hawaiian uh, healing process, more or less, called Ho'oponopono. Uh, Joe Vitale, who was featured in The Secret, the book, the movie, the uh, audio, whatever, The Secret. Um, and he um, talks about that and he has um, a, a book called um, Zero Limits and it's about getting back to basically um, I think uh, exactly what um, Lao Tzu was talking about with the Tao and, li and living in the Tao. Um, you simply repeat over and over these four phrases. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. These, uh, you don't say these to a person. You don't say to them to yourself. You say them to whatever it is that you um, think of it, infinite intelligence. And, and to me, it's all energy. So you're um, looking for an energy um, the frequency that, um, that um, ties you to the more wider spectrum of the universe. So I've been working on that, trying to keep that going in my head all day long. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. To see what that will do for me. And I'm not doing it as an experiment without thinking something's going to happen. I truly believe from what I've read Joe Vitale talk about that, um, that there's a lot to this. And I don't think it's any different than any other. And I, and I think... Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I just wanted to get it out there um, and talk about it because it's a big focus in my life right now. I've been working for a long time, and last night I read a little about uh, from Deepak Chopra about um, um, getting by with with the, the least effort, which really doesn't mean you're not trying to do things. 
And that's where I think I've been uh, bumping my head all along is I try very hard. I try. Well, you need to um, more not try. You need to, but you need to act. And this is where, this is, I think this is what brought this up for me today. I've done nothing today, really. And I have a lot on my plate, a lot of irons in the fire. I need a bigger fire. Uh, possibly this whole living in the Tao can uh, make my fire bigger to where I can have more irons in it and get more accomplished. Um, one of the things that, I don't know if it's as I get older or what, I really want to help people. I want to help people with their health. I want to help people with their wealth. And I want to help people just be better people. Um, to do that, I have to be a better person. And um, I can't be a better person by just trying to be a better person. I have to change the way I approach life. Uh, so, what I've been doing is, if there's silence, for instance, a lot of times when I'm in the kitchen, uh, working in the kitchen, I'll turn the radio on. The other day I was in the kitchen, I was walking over to the radio and I thought, you know what, I don't hear my Ho'oponopono phrases going in my head. So rather than turn on the radio, I'll just consciously, um, if there's nobody around, because, you know, I suppose it could be embarrassing, I'll say it out loud. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Um, over and over and over. Uh, at work, when I'm talking to somebody on the phone who's having problems, that's running in my head. Uh, and I can't go in, I really don't even want to go into all the details. If you want to understand just Google uh, Joe Vitale, look on YouTube. Maybe I'll even put a link to that one, to the Zero Limits. Um, and he talks about Ho'oponopono. And I'm, re I'm intrigued, let me just say it that way. I'm intrigued. I want to see if this will uh, be the revolutionary change in my life that I've been looking for. So, and I'm sure plenty of you Christians out there will tell me that uh, Christ is the answer. Well. Uh, in some ways, I think you're right, but I think um, his message has been misinterpreted. And I think there are some of, some Christians who truly understand uh, what his message was. And I don't think it was any different than any of the other teachers who were trying to tell us how to get in touch with the infinite. And my alarm is going on. So I've gone probably over my limit. So, ho'oponopono. Um, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And make it a great day. And bye for now.